Hello. Of course, by now you know that MC is closed and we're transitioning to online courses for the next couple of weeks at least. So don't forget that assignment for design is due um, Wednesday for 30549, the, the Wednesday session. And it's due Thursday for the Thursday session. So today we're going to talk about cloning and copying, sets and maps, advanced I.O., and then we'll uh, let Professor Karchner take over with her video on serialization and object streams. So first, let's talk about cloning. Um, clone is basically a copy of an object. If it's a string or other um, immutable object, then it's safe. It's not uh, going to be modified uh, by a client on the outside. So there's an interesting situation here. One of the dozen or so methods that capital O object contains is a protected method called clone that returns a copy of an object. Because of this situation, um, a, a class, a subclass of object, and everything is a subclass of object, needs to implement clone and needs to throw in the header throws a clone not supported exception because that's a checked exception. So um, you can put the implementation in any class. Uh, you can invoke it um, by calling super.clone. So here's an example of a name class that is uh, clone, calling clone having their own sub method called clone and calling super.clone, casting it to a name class, and that's the copy. So a clone if you invoke clone just on the surface, it only copies the object and its fields. It doesn't copy, it doesn't do a deep clone, it only copies the shallow methods. So let's go to um, another set of slides uh, and <clears throat> see what we're talking about here. Well, in a shallow copy or a shallow clone, um, we copy the array. We clone the array or another object. The important thing is not the fact that this is an array. It could be an object that has these five student sub-objects in it. If we do a shallow copy, um, in either case, we have to create a new um, array or a new collection or a new object of some sort. Um, and we go through the copy.length or copy.size, open close parents if it's an object, and we simply copy the, the inner objects. That's a shallow clone. A deep copy or a deep clone requires you to go one step further. This is a deep copy. And once again, it doesn't really matter whether it's an array or an object uh, for this illustration. The uh, important point is that the, the deep copy or the deep clone um, copies a new instance of each student. So notice up here in new student section, it copies an, an, a unique uh, 
instance of that student. Now, interestingly enough, um, anything you can do with copy, you can base with clone, you can basically also do with copying. And in fact, uh, there are people who uh, who say that anything you should that you should not even mess with clone at all. You should copy everything, and I tend to agree with them. So, this slide you can look it over, this set of slides. But the basic idea is that uh, you can copy or you can call clone. There are a few alleged advantages of object of clone because it's some slightly, slightly easier to implement, but um, we all know how to copy objects and, and their embedded objects. And so that's how you create the shallow copy or the deep copy. And I would suggest that you don't even worry about cloning um, because you have to set up the clone method 